Hi, this is Savannah, and welcome to my second ZBrush tutorial, Part D. In this tutorial, we'll be discussing the shadow box and how to create 3D objects using the shadow box within ZBrush. First, click on the light box button found at the top of your interface. Go to the projects and go ahead and find the shadow box 128. Okay. I'm also going to change this. Four, so you can see the box a little bit easier. Okay. As you can see with the shadow box, you have an open box that has a bottom, a right, and a back. The right deals with the left and right of your object. The bottom deals with the bottom and the top and the back deals with the back and the front. Go ahead and hit the shift key to center the box. On your canvas. Go to the geometry in your tool menu. And as you can see, there's a shadow box button turned on. Now, I'm going to go to the back. Click on and hold the command or control button and draw out a mask onto your box. As you can see, any mask that you have on your shadow box automatically creates 3D geometry. If you want to hit the activate symmetry in your transform menu, draw out a mask that is symmetrical on either side of the X symmetry. Also, if you hold down the command or control key, you notice your brushes menu change the standard to a mask pen and click on while holding the command or control key the brush menu and open up the brush window and you have different masking selections for example the mask red we'll drag out still holding the command key a box As you can see, we created a 3D box. Again, draw your box, but this time, still holding on to the command or control key, click on the sh shift or the uh, space bar and hold the space bar down and drag your box to the middle. Okay. 
also turn this around while dragging out a box hit the alt key as you can see that draws out a deselection mask first let go of the alt key click on the spacebar drag your square back into the middle of the plane, the box, the shadow box. Let go of the space key once you have it positioned and re-hit the alt key again. As you can see now, it created a 3D object with a square or rounded square hole missing from it. Also use the mask lasso. Mask circle. And using the same keys create a donut or a washer-like 3D object. Like that, the mask. This time, go to the right, hit the transparency button, and as you can see, you can slightly see your 3D model behind the shadow box. Go ahead and select the mask rectangular. Turn off transparency. And as you can see, drawing a mask rectangle on the right hand side made our 3D model quite a bit thicker than what it was before. Same thing with the bottom. Also, create a hole through it on the right hand side. Or one on the top and bottom straight through it. Once you have the 3D model like you'd like to have it, you can 
can also turn down the polish. So it's not such a high division. And turn off the shadow box. Now you have a 3D object. That's a shadow box object that you created. Now, It's a 3D object of it. Now, as you can see, it's not very smooth. If I turn down some of the polish, and it's lower geometry. Now, if I wanted to, I can append a shadow box. out the mass it's transparency and now as you can see you can still see your previously created 3D object and start on a new shadow box creation that will be made by looking at the previous 3D creation. You can create many things within shadow box. Once you have what you want, hit the Make Poly Mesh 3D, delete the shadow box, and now you have two different subtools that you created within shadow box. With one of them selected. I'm going to hit the command and the shift key, command or control and shift key on the keyboard. What that'll do is change your brush, the ones that are brushes that are selected just by those keys, just like the mask key. Click on the clip rectangle brush. Still holding the keys down, drag out a box anywhere on your blank canvas across your model and let go. As you can see, it removed the bottom where every that clip rectangle was not over. Also drag it out, let go of the shift key, hit the alt key. And it will also clip the sides. Unfortunately, with that, it also makes the mesh jump around and have these long pieces of polygon sticking up. Sometimes you're able to click on the Clip curve brush and remove
those problems. Also sometimes smooth them out. Your clip curve brush, how that works, you're clicking anywhere on your blank canvas. And as you can see, the white dotted line, wherever that's going to be, it is going to clip it wherever that dark shaded line is. In order to curve it, tap on the Alt key while dragging out your line and continue to tap it every time you want to bend the clipping. Like that. Also, using the shift and command or control key, drag out a circle, let go of the shift, and using the space, position it wherever you want, let go of the space key, and hit the shift again, and there you have a nice clean cut circle order to do that for the center, go ahead and drag out using the command and control or control key and the shift key. Let go of the shift key, hit the space bar, position it, and this time hit the alt key. As you can see, now the circle through the center is quite clean and has a nice edge to it. So that's how you make many different 3D objects using the shadow box. I hope you all enjoyed and happy ZBrushing!